Sean. Congratulations on being inducted to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. The whole intent of the questions is to let people know a little bit more about you, Frank. Okay. So, what got you involved in wrestling in the first place, Sal? Well, uh, I, I didn't know anything about wrestling. I'd, I'd really never even seen a match. But when I was a kid, my, my cousin, uh, he was a little older than me, and every time we'd get together, we would just wrestle and, and just brawl. And uh, he would just beat the daylights out of me. And he wrestled down south in San Bernardino. And I thought, well, when I get to high school, I'm going to go out for wrestling so I can get a few licks in. And so, so that's what I did. I didn't know anything about it, never seen it. And I just went out for wrestling as a freshman in high school. So uh, that motivated you? Motivated me, yeah, uh, yeah. Survival motivates you. <laughs> it does. Uh, what individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? Uh, you know, I since I didn't know anything about wrestling, I didn't know anybody in wrestling. Probably uh, there was a pivotal point my freshman year in high school. Um, like I said, I, I had was very inexperienced, and uh, I didn't I didn't win a match for for like several months. And I came to the coach, uh, my coach Barrientos was his name. And uh, I said, you know, I don't think this wrestling's for me. I, I, I'm just getting beat up every day. And he said, well, why don't you just take a week off from practice and see how you feel after that. And so I did. And when I came back, I started feeling pretty good. And uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna keep at it. And the next week, I, I wrestled a guy that had won the league, and I, I lost, but only by one point. And so all of a sudden, I, a little light went on and said, I, I can do this, and I, I could figure this out. And I just kept getting better and better after that. That's great. Uh, what is the most outstanding memory you've had from your career in wrestling, Alan? Uh, you know, I've had a lot of good memories. I, I wrestled at, uh, in high school, and our high school program wasn't, wasn't much. Uh, the coaches didn't, they had never wrestled, except my first year, the re that coach, and he, he left after that. But I wrestled at Cal Poly after that under Vaughn Hitchcock, and I learned a lot of wrestling from there. Um, and then I went on to AIA, Athletes in Action Wrestling Team. And I, I probably, probably one of the most, uh, significant things for me is I always wanted to be the best and I uh, in 1976 I, I tried out for the Olympic team and I placed I was fifth at the trials which was not the greatest but uh, but I went to the camp and at the camp I, I got to wrestle with some of the top guys in the world my wrestling partners there were uh, uh, Ben or uh, John Peterson who was a gold medalist in 72 and then uh, a guy named Lloyd Kieser from Army. He was a, a world champ, I think in 73, something like that. So I, I, I got to do, learn from these guys, wrestle with these guys, compete with them, and those are, those are some good memories for me. Uh, what part of your personality or personal attribute uh, uh, was instrumental in your success in wrestling? Um, well, I, I was, I was a determined, a de determined to win, I think, I, I, that, and I, and I liked learning wrestling. And so I, I think those two things together helped me, you know, give me the success that I, that I was looking for. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, if you had the opportunity, would you do anything over in your wrestling career now that you think about it? Yeah, I, that was a kind of a hard question. In some ways, I, you know, you just, I had a great time. There were some, there were some hard times too. But uh, the one thing I might have done a little different is that I had a chance one time to, uh, uh, USA Wrestling asked me if I would go to Tbilisi uh, with the, the US team. And at the time, I'd, I'd only been married a short time and I, I just had my first child. And she was just a little little thing, baby. And I thought, 
you know, I, I really don't want to leave for several weeks at this time. And so uh, I told them no. And uh, they called back again and said, well, you don't even have to challenge if you want, we want, we want you to go. And I, I again told them, I, I, I just don't think I can go. And looking back, maybe I would have gone, would have wanted to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would you like people to remember about that book? You know, uh, I've realized that over the years, there's probably thousands of guys like me that have wrestled in these tournaments, national tournaments, place winners. There's, there's lots of us. And, uh, of course, those accolades are fun, and I enjoyed every bit of it. But I'd, I'd really like to be remembered more as a, a good husband, a good father. And, and I've always been a Christian, and I, I'd like to be remembered for, for that, too. Uh, so th those are the things I'd really like to be remembered by, about. I think you're going to accomplish that. Well, hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations once again, Helen. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it.